Now, I think we've really gone over a lot of the definitions about the types of bullying. And the next question is, what do you do about it? What do you do about it? Kyle. One of the places to start is to tell somebody that you really, really trust. And usually it helps to be an adult because an adult has gone through life and has dealt with that kind of thing. They know where to go to the school and even if it gets to be so far as go to court with it, an adult has gone through it and knows what to do. Or you could even tell maybe somebody like a best friend or something and just ask, hey, some, this, so and so is being really mean to me doing this and this and this. What do you think I should do? And if they just, if you could go to both if you wanted to, they can both give you helpful advice. So Okay, so a tell a trusted adult. And your example is someone at home, outside of school, that might be able to advocate or tell adults at school mm -hmm. or give you some advice on how to handle things. Who else can you tell? Samantha. Um, maybe your brother or sister. Okay. And that would be like a trusted friend. How about adults at school? Emily. You could tell a teacher or an aide, somebody that you know and know will handle the situation properly. So a teacher that you trust or, you know, maybe an advisor, one of your student advisors, that's what they're there for. So you can always go and talk to them. Okay. Chloe? I know, like for me, a teacher probably wouldn't be the first choice. But if you absolutely have no one to talk to, they're always there. And it's always a choice for you. Okay. So with our new bullying policy, what is the responsibility of adults at school once a student tells them that they've been bullied? Mariana? To stay on it, to make sure you're checking up on that student, make sure, making sure that they're okay. Okay. To like refer back to the bullying and just make sure you check in with the office saying, hey, is this being dealt with? You know, I don't want the student going every single day, not feeling comfortable to come to school or to do anything, just to make sure that student is a okay. Okay. Haley. Kind of like what she said, like checking up on them, because a lot of times, even if the bullies like gotten in trouble, it doesn't stop just like that. It, it a lot of times continues and they think they won't get in trouble again like they've already gotten their consequence. So if there's a teacher there that is asking if they're okay, okay so it's nice to know they care. The adults at school have the obligation first to do what? Karina? Um, <clears throat> they have the obligation to um, stay with the student and make sure that they're going to be okay and they also have the obligation to investigate the matter okay so if a student comes to them and tells them about an incident of bullying um, they need to find out if there were any witnesses what really happened and they need to need to investigate it okay so the adult either if it's like a student advisor, assistant principal, principal, teacher, has the obligation to either tell someone who can investigate or to investigate it. And what else do they have to do? I really like the comment about staying with it. What else do they have to do? Mackenzie? I don't want to be all like revenge or anything, but they should get punishment. Okay, the bully should have some kind of consequence. All right. And what's the responsibility of the adult with the victim? What do adults have to do now with the, with the new policy? Cooper? Um, when you usually go up to like the ISS room, to, you, they have you write a written document so that you can... It's, a written document's really important because they kind of have information and proof that the bully is constantly doing it and the victim's not just lying just to like get them in trouble for a small thing. Okay, an excellent part of the investigation. Chloe? If it takes the teacher walking 
the victim to their next class to make sure that the bully isn't bullying them during that time, then they should do that. I mean, anything to make them the victim feel safe. Okay, some great tips for adults on campus. Um, but remember, it's important that the adult get back with the victim with the results of the investigation also. 